Hey guys, welcome back! Another episode of Mind Crack! Yes sir, yes ma'am! So we are in the nether right now. We all hate the nether, most of us, right? But I am in here for a reason. Good reason. Stop coming in! Quartz. Quartz, baby, quartz. That's why we are here. And I'm turning, I'm coming out all right. Coming out all right. There are two things, two things, two ways to get quartz, in my opinion, two good ways. Uh, number one, oh geez, this is danger. Number one, and I apologize for the noise, maybe I'll turn it down a little bit more. Number one way to get quartz is just run around, run around through the areas and see if you can find some. Now, of course, it's got to be a newly generated area if your world was generated before Quartz was added to the game. Um, and if you run around and look for some, you're going to find it. Like, let's see if we can see some here. I've kind of cleaned out quite a bit all over the place. Anywhere? Anywhere? There's been some that's been hard to reach that I haven't gone for. Um... Looks like I cleaned the place out. But you can kind of look around, hunt, bring some ender balls, because the nether is a little bit hard to traverse. And just hunt for some. And that's a decent option. And in, in my opinion, I think maybe the best option. Um, because there's another option that uh, generic message dinner bone back when quartz was first added and said hey dog uh, it seems like quartz is a little difficult to get and especially with for how little you get like a stack of it gives you 16 blocks that's it which is not a very good ratio um, kind of sucks for as far as a building block. So maybe it's not intended to be a building block. Uh, let's see. Is this the F0 direction? Yes, it is. F0. Um, so, uh, Dinnerbone told him, he said, well, why don't you do a branch mine? Do a branch mine, see how you turn out. And so, that's another option. And, okay. Try try a branch mine, and what I would suggest, there's some quartz right there, a little tough to get, so we're just going to forget about it. Um, we'll see if I regret that later on in the episode, but um, there's some up there, yeah, quite a bit, but lots of pillaring, we're just going to leave that for right now. I like leaving some so people can, when, this is kind of generics area, so when he comes over here, he'll know, okay, this is a, a quartz area. Um but the uh, branch mining technique, not really, I have found that it's not really working out to be too great because, uh, unless you do it the right way. Um, let's get over here. <clears throat> I've just brought stone picks, a bunch of stone picks, and just kind of uh, been mining away. In, in, a, in a branch mine. You just, that's where I started out. And that, okay, stone, not really a valuable material. Um, but if I had fortune, that would definitely help a lot. Uh, and, and if you have tons of diamond, here's what I would suggest. If you have tons of diamond, bring an unbreaking efficiency th 4 or efficiency 5 diamond pick down here with an anvil and some backup diamonds look at my levels 46 you get tons of levels from this stuff uh, and just plow plow out a branch mine you go through it super super fast and then have a backup unbreaking fortune 3 pick so when you see quartz you get much more of it um, probably at least double and then bring an anvil with you. An anvil with some backup diamonds so you can repair your stuff. And that could be alright. That could be an alright tactic. But as far as this goes for me, 
not working out so great. Um, the best route for me has been just some ender balls and going around and just looking for exposed because I, I, I kind of timed myself. And as far as like when I was just going around and looking for the exposed quartz, I was getting it several stacks in about a half hour. Several stacks of quartz, not the blocks. Um, but when I was strip mining with the stone sword and stuff, or branch mining, uh, rates seemed to go a lot slower. And uh, so branch mining can be good if you do it right, I think. So that's my suggestion. But coming away with a decent amount of quartz here. I don't want to take it all because this is kind of generics area. But I do need to take some because we got something cool planned today. I am going to be smart. Today I'm going to be kind of smart. I'll show you how I was stupid earlier. But uh, I'm going to do something kind of smart, kind of fun, that you guys will probably enjoy. Maybe you'll want to implement it into your places. But uh, So I'm just going to get some more quartz here. And this episode may be a little choppy, just a little bit. But... Uh, we're going to be all over the place. It's going to take me a while to record this. Hopefully we can keep it at a reasonable length video. So I'm going to head on home, get some quartz on the way, and we'll be back. A lot of people were wondering, where did B-double-O get all the leather for the arena stuff? Hey! And this is the place. I think I showed this, but, you know, not everybody sees every video. So right next to the arena, um, I found a couple of cows, four of them, out there. And just set up a little wheat farm here and just bred them out for hours and hours and hours. Etho was kind enough to let me borrow his looting sword. And I just ran with that. Just ran with that looting sword for quite a while and... and um, that was basically the, the hardest part of the whole arena thing, was getting all the leather. Um, this sword has been uh, repaired twice, and I want to just do one last run through with the leather here. And get some leather, and then I'm going to repair this sword up, and bring it on back to him really nice really kind of etho to let me borrow this um, passively he helped me out a lot with all that stuff generic helped me out so much with wiring up some of the redstone stuff and you know you guys know uh, and you'll as you'll see today uh, redstone is not my forte it's something I like to do it's something that I can bumble my way through but is not my 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 best the I'm not great at it um, no no siri no I'm not but I'm okay um, all right what do we got do 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 we're gonna take this and that's how I got all that meat for everybody the catering <laughs> um, but yeah we'll repair this baby up and bring it on back to him full power it was down it was about at this durability level when i got it but the old golden rule this is something my dad has always told me when you borrow something from somebody you give it back to them in better shape than you found it so that's the plan i want to give it back to him better than i found it and We'll just go, whoop, and there we go. we we'll get an anvil, and I think I should have enough. Uh, we'll just plop it right there for right now. Enough XP to get this baby repaired. Did you notice I'm rich now? Fully repaired for 24. Not bad. And he can rename this uh, if he does it soon. And repair costs should be pretty cheap all over again. Um, something else I want to try, if I have. Oh, only six! Awesome. Awesome. 
through all of my enchanting and everything, I tried a couple of level 30s when I was getting... I mean, look at all these books. 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 And all these are low-level enchantments. Very low-level. But, um... Yeah, through all that, I tried a couple of level 30s and got a Feather Falling 4. So, boom, we got some Feather Falling 4 boots. Beautiful. Not bad. So, let's take this on over to Easy E's place. Let's get some more wood. Put this up here. Kind of got some randomness going on here, but that's okay. Um, we will, one, two, get a chest. And do and, boop and a sign, and we'll take that on over there. There we go, fully charged. There we go. Thanks, Etho. By the way, it's Chinese red not pink that way he'll know it's from me if you don't know the reference he always calls my oh and i'm leaving it here because i know he's at his other base but this is where i got the sword from and uh so i know he frequents here from time to time but, yeah, I have a red sweatshirt that I wear, and he calls it pink all the time, and it's not pink, it's red! Did I tell you this episode might be choppy? If I didn't, I'm sorry. This might be a choppy episode. <laughs> um, but I, I could not go without showing you guys this. Uh, Zisto, fixed your arena. What a guy, for real. I mean, I was prepped and ready to take care of all this. It, was, it wasn't going to be too bad, but uh, Z still came in, and he even, check this out. I think, depending on which way you look at it, he's created a Z. Yeah. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Zorro Zisto. But yeah, he patched everything up, made it look real nice. Of course, of course. It is done 100% symmetrically in every single way. Um, so Zisto, thank you, my brother. Thanks for taking care of that. Um, I need some redstone. A little out of redstone right now. And Generic left a pick over here that was almost dead. It was uh, four hits left on it. It was Efficiency 4, Fortune 3. So... I just went over to the end and repaired it and got some extra levels and threw some unbreaking on it for him. So this is going to go back to him, but I do need it for a little bit of redstone collection. Uh, probably more than I'm going to need. Oh yeah, geez, oh my. Look at that. Just off of that little bit, we almost got two stacks. Talk to me now. Talk to me now. Um, so... Definitely a surprise for you guys today. I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to surprise you maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, like I said, lots of work going to go into this episode, I think. Um, whoops. F1. No, that's not the one. Am I using the wrong pick? I'm using the wrong pick. I'll tell you what. Foo. Absolute foo. I might have been using the wrong pick the whole time for all I know. Goodness. Um, but yes, we're going to do a little work over at the B-Team Casino. Got an idea that popped into my head, and I wanted to use it somewhere. I just didn't know where I could use it. So uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to come back, and we're going to get started on that. It should be pretty fun. I think we'll have, have a good time with it. So we'll see you in just a bit. All right, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. So, 
We are here over at the luxury suite section. One, two, three, four. The luxury suite section of the B Team Casino. And what I want to make today, since Generic helped me so much on the arena, I want to help him as much as I possibly can with getting the casino up and running. And something I'd like to add to this is a fully functioning automatic wardrobe closet. That's right. You walk in, pick your clothes, hit a button, go through, it dresses you. One, two, three, four. Uh, five, let me get this set out. Six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. 11 it should be. That should do the trick. Now, this is something that uh, requires quite a bit of redstone. Quite a bit of redstone. But for right now, what we will do is we will do... We will get the, the building part done. So let's get some of these bad boys on the bar. Thank you very much. Whoops. Okay, so if we go here, one, two, three, four, here, one, two, three, four, here. Uh huh. This should do. So, what I want this to do and look like, I want it to look like this is all quartz blocks, of course, if you didn't notice. I want this to look like just the most pimped out closet you've ever seen in your entire life so pimp uh-huh dirt right here two three four and you just have to kind of follow me through this one this is one the talking is going to be a little minimal because it's a lot of thinking a lot of thinking exactly how I want it to lay out. And I want to kind of preserve materials as best as possible here. So if we go uh, here and here, boom, get that off of there. And do, do, do. Very good. It's going to be nighttime soon. Let me turn my brightness up because I've had that down quite a bit. Here we go. Put that baby there. Very good, very good. Put this one here. And uh, I have built this in creative, and I will say it looks pretty sick. This might be something that you guys might want to implement into your worlds. Possibly. Cool. Cool, cool. Here, we'll work on that in just a second. So, let's get some torches down. Get the place bright so we can see while we're working. Good enough. Now we'll need some stairs. Do... That won't do it. That won't do it either, but it'll get us started. We'll get an idea of what we need. So let's go bam, 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 bam. White, just pimp, pimped out. Here we'll go do, 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 do. Very good. Don't fall off. Please don't fall off. If I fall, I do not die because I got feather fallen boots. That's right. I just remembered. Okay, very good, very good. Let's get some more quartz blocks on the bar. I brought those column blocks, but we ain't going to use them. We don't need them. Boy, I hope I got enough quartz for this. Jeez. If I don't have enough quartz for this, I'm going to be sad. I've been in the nether forever. I'm sick of it. I'm done. Out. Uh-huh. One there. Very good. And then we need four, four, 16 more. 16 and then some more stuff over there. So let's go one, two, three, four. 
That should make us 16. Very good. Crafting is so much simpler. So much simpler now. Oh, I love it. That's one thing that I, I, I love about this snapshot. Okay. You already getting the feel? You already getting the feel of how pimp this place is going to be? Pimp juice! Do 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 pimp juice. Boom 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 boom. All right, one two three do do do. Brags about how great the new crafting system is. And crafts the old way. Uh, let's see. Should we just go like this? Mhm. Mm we should. We should. We should. Let's get some half slabs implemented into this thing. I think we're gonna be sitting pretty good as far as blocks go. So that's good news. Boom, boom, boom. And then maybe stairs at the top. We'll see, we'll see. Let's get this done. Uh, six of those, that's perfect. Go boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then some stairs up top, that'll do the trick. Go, make them. It's good. It's very good. Okay. Glorious. Huh? You feel it? You feel the modern closet style we're going for here? Oh, forgot the glowstone. Damn. Shizzle. I'll get that before it's all over. Don't worry. Okay. And then the roof. I'm going to use a little trick here with the roof. Going to need quite a bit of half slabs. One, two, three, four. We'll see how that does us. Let's bring the crafting bench with us. Oh, no! That ain't no crafting bench. <laughs> oh, I was all organized and pretty. I had everything laid out very nice and simple. Dang it, man. One, two, three, four. Okay, put these together. Redstone stuff goes together. All right. Leather can go here. Man! Well, it wasn't a whole lot of stuff. We're fine. <laughs> Dang, never. Okay, the iron can go there. And we're back. We're back. Okay. That's the crafting bench. Jeez. Okay. So let's get up here. Put these together. And we'll put the slabs there. Very good. Get up here. And you'll have to just mine the dirt for right now. Mind it. Um, one, two, three, four. And then if we put the ceiling at this height, right? Yes. Yes. Stomach be growling. And then we'll have two holes for, for lighting. And this will create an effect where the light Kind of hangs down halfway. Be very cool. Two, three, four. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, one right there. Very good. And how are we sitting here? We'll bring that to the top. Three, four. Oh, please tell me we got enough. We're going to be shy. Oh, frick. Are we? Don't tell me. Put the crafting bench down. We're going to be really close. I kind of tried estimating this out beforehand. One, two. Uh-huh. If I had, hadn't have made all those freaking pillars, would be just fine. That was way back in the day when Quartz first came out. It's like, yes, pillars for the arena. I will use them. No, I will not. I do not even need them. Okay. One. Boom. 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 Oh, we're going to be close, guys. We're going to be close. I think we're going to make it. Uh-huh. Yes, we got enough. Perfect. It's done. Structure is done. That's what she looks like. And then we'll have a couple of lights up in there. It'll look gorgeous. Gorgeous indeed. Now... Now what's next? You wonder. I tell you. We're going to put item frames. It's 
it's going to take a lot of wood. I don't know how much, but we'll see. It'll be that. We'll turn all that into sticks. I say all that into sticks. And then we'll put the leather in there. We need 4, 4, 8, 16, 32. That's exactly what we need right there. Okay. It's going to get us close. Uh huh. Is that going to do it? We'll find out. 22. Will this give us 10? Nope. 36. We need 6. Yikes. Break it up and it sticks. 10. 8. Whoa. Perfect. Look at how I do. Okay. So, item frames go here, 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 here. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Mm hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful indeed. Now we got to make some buttons. Boom, boom, boom. We need 32 buttons as well. Whoops. Right? 32 buttons? Yeah. I believe that's right. I know those are a little hard to reach, but if you back up, you're fine. You can make your selection. Don't worry. It's all worth it for the pimp. Pimp juice. There you go. Perfect. Now, here's the awesome fun part. So, we fill this place with different color clothing. Um, you get, uh, you know, let's say you got red, yellow, green, blue, black, white, diamond, iron, whatever. You got tons and tons of choices. And the idea is you say, okay, here's white pants. I want to wear that. Click that. I want to wear some black boots. And I want to wear a diamond helmet. And I want to wear diamond pants. Hit that, and then there will be a button here. If you pick from both sides, there will be a button on both sides. You got to hit boom, boom, and then you go into an area, pow, it dresses you. Of course, you have to be naked, but. Um, so I'm going to do some work off camera. This is going to take a little wiring that is easy to show after the fact. Of course, this is not what the outside is going to look like in product. This is just what the outside looks like right now. Easy to take care of. But uh, I'm going to get on wire in this. Yes, I will. And uh, we will be right back. Okay, I think I did it. I think. <laughs> I'm always self-conscious about this stuff. Always. Redstone confuses me. And everyone else, all right? You're all confused. But, so I didn't fill this whole place out. Still got to get some here. Um, well, actually, we could do some white. But here's how it's set up. So you got your outfits. You know, you could do shoes, uh, pants, shirt, hat. You could lay them out however you want. Um, but then you go through and you pick. And you go, okay, I want blue blue um shirt no pink please blue shirt um iron hat green pants today and red red shoes that made a noise i don't know why that made a noise was that a dispenser why didn't any of these others make a noise we'll see maybe it didn't work um yeah, there might be a problem. There might be a problem that I can look at. But, so you've made your selections. Fire that off. Fire that off. Boom. And then you go over here. Now, this could be a minecart. We've thought about doing that. But um, go through here. Walk through. Do, 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 do. Step on the thing. Kablam. I should be dressed. I didn't get everything. Why didn't I get everything? Aha. Red. Put them on me. 
Got my boots. Did not get my hat. Why did I not get my hat? What hat did I select? Iron? Okay, well, <laughs> something went wrong. But this gives me an opportunity to show you kind of how the setup is. I can kind of troubleshoot at the same time. So iron hat was on this side. Did that go? It didn't. Did it get stuck somewhere? Maybe it never fired. I'm going to check right now. Wait, where was iron? Over there. And then I can kind of tell you how this whole thing works. Iron hat should be right here. It came out. It's right there. It's stuck because... Oh, because of this. Okay. Got it. That signal right there is causing a problem. So if we just put one here and put one over here, that will solve that. Aha! So I'm not stupid. Easy fix. Easy fix. Boom. boom. Put that guy over Ooh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the hopper. Put that there. There we go. And it should be gone and into the minecart. Very good. Send it off. I said I want my hat. Send it off, go through. This would be a nice walkway, not a dirty, messed up hat on. Beautiful. So here's the setup. When I had done this, I had laid this out. Oh, no, did roof, Beef's roof burned. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> I'll talk to him about it. Looks like lightning got it. I wonder when. Oh, that sucks. We'll fix it. He helped me, I help him. Um, but anyway, how I originally had this set up. I had done some tests with droppers and hoppers. And I thought that hoppers with something right below them are going to drop down into that no matter what. Or same with droppers. I, I was confused. So I had this system with like these rails that were going back and forth. You hit a button, a rail goes back and forth. It was timed out perfectly. Boom, boom. Each of these did rails. They dropped this off. This was like six wider, seven or eight wider, actually. Um, and I asked Generic, I was like, is this, can you come take a look at this? Tell me if it's efficient. And he was like, so why did you do it like that? <laughs> Very kind about it, but uh, yeah. So basically, the easiest solution is we've got droppers down there for that row. When you hit those, those are all full of the things. You hit the button, it shoots it into this hopper, which is facing all this direction towards the middle. These don't even need, this is a, a resource saver. They don't need hoppers uh, because if you close it all off, they're just going to drop right down into there. I could close that off just to make sure, but... Pretty much 100% of the time, it's going to drop right in there. Everything rolls to the middle. Let's just clear all this out so you can see what's going on. Some of this cobblestone is going to fall in there, but that's okay. So all of this faces the middle, faces this one in the middle, which faces that guy right there, drops into the mine cart. Now, so that's how you get the clothes over here. Uh, the button in the middle is just ooh, hee, um, here, here, and then to a block that gets powered. Ooh, this block that gets powered that pushes that baby off. Same thing on the other side. Exact same thing. Now, this is where a tricky part comes in, where my cart comes over to a hopper that's connected to a dispenser. Okay, let's just for reference sake, here's where we were inside, and I think I just broke something. Maybe not. Maybe yes. 100% yes. <laughs> um, but, so that goes into... The, the, the cart comes up here. Comes into this hopper, which goes into this dispenser. Right? But, when a cart comes up here, what it does is it drops off its stuff. And this is where some cool stuff starts happening. As soon as it starts dropping off its things, this hopper gets items in it, which if you use a comparator or comparator, it will shoot out a signal. 
So as soon as this hopper gets something in it, this comparator shoots out a signal, which goes the redstone torch up to this piece of redstone, and then turns this off. So as long as this is receiving items, I think we might, if you can see it, see it goes off. As long as it's pumping items through, it's off, so the minecart will stay. And then as soon as it's done pumping those items through, I put a lot in there. Should not have put so much in there. As soon as it's done, oh, then, oh, not done yet. Kicks back on because there's a block right here. As soon as it kicks on, it shoots it back. Easy peasy, right? So just for reference sake, so you can see, there it goes, dropping things off, dumps it, done. Very, very nice system, very nice system. So that's basically it. Now, it gets kind of tricky. We were talking about possibly setting up like some mine carts and stuff to, um, to hold things. Or not to hold things, to, for you to, like, as soon as you're done making your selection, you hit a button, shoots you to a mine cart. There's some very cool things you could do, but I'm kind of limited with space right now. Um, how do I get in there? How do I get in there? Let me in. Oh, hell, blazes. I want to get back in there. There we go. Um, so, yes. That's it. That's it. Pretty pretty simple. But, yeah. Uh, you could set up a system. And we I got this set up on a creative world where uh, as soon as you're done, you hop in a mine cart. It brings you over. Stops you. Dispenses the stuff on you. Shoots you back. Which is cool, cool effect. But for, for what we're doing, this could work, too. So, anyway, that's it. Automatic clothing clother. Oh, it's an automatic closet. Don't need these anymore. And it looks nice, too, huh? So, just wanted to show you guys that. Thought that would be cool. This is part of the suites. So, top floor is going to be walk-in master closet. Uh, definitely going to have to clean it all up. Obviously, we don't want dirt on the floor, for goodness sakes. But, yeah. You get a room at the B-Team Casino, you get a beautiful self-clothing closet. Not bad. You get to wear some cool clothes. What do you think? Hmm? Not bad. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we will see you next episode. I'm smart, too. I'm very smart. As long as other people are helping me. And, and telling me what to do. I'm very, very smart. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, feel free to leave a like on it. If you're brand new, never seen one of my videos, feel free to subscribe. Why not? I do redstone stuff. So in the big TV screen is the playlist to the mind crack videos. Everything on this server is in that playlist. If you want to go back and check out some of the older stuff and make sure you're going to see the new stuff, you can click there and check all that out. In the bottom left is my last let build, episode three. We had some good times. Just in case you missed it, you can click that, check it out. Bottom right is my last Feed the Beast video. Kept working on the sideways house some more. Did some traveling, messed with some trees. A whole plethora of stuff. So feel free to check that out if you want something to watch too.